talking about working with radical symbols, uh, which means like square roots, cube roots, fourth roots, etc. Here we're using the square root. They're both the square root. So see the little five is under the house and the little seven is under the house? Well, because radicals are roots and multiplication are really in the same world, we can put these together. So I can make this square root of 5 times 7 or the square root of 35. This is very similar to rednecks who fall in love and they each have a mobile home. What do they do? They squeeze them together. Guess what? When the rednecks decide that they don't like each other anymore and they want to get a divorce, probably for the second or third time, they go in and they say, okay, here we are, married, together. So this is 2 times 2 times 7, right? 4 times 7 is 28. We can pull this apart. I'm going to take my goodies over in my trailer, and you take your goodies over in your trailer, and now we're divorced or separated for the umpteenth time. Square root of 4 here is 2. Well, anywhere is 2, mostly. So the square root of 28, then is 2 square root of 7. So you can put them together, and you can pull them apart. It is important to note here that if I have the cube root of 7 and the square root of 4 and the, well, that's a bad example. How about square root of 41? And the 7th root of 8. I can do nothing with these. So they're like incompatible mobile homes. They won't go together. So all these little teeny tiny numbers need to be the same. This is the cube root, the square root, and the seventh root. And so this is actually your final answer if you were to be given some crazy problem like that. They have to be the same in order to put them together. So the cube root of 6 times the cube root of let's say 18 can be put together as the cube root of 6 times 18 which is 2 times 3 and 18 is 9 times 2. This is 18, this is 6. So I can scooch these around and I can do 3 times 3 times 3 and 2 times 2. So this is the cube root of 27, ah, and this is the cube root of 4. So this is 3 cube root 4. Be careful not to get these two 3's mixed up. This means a different thing.